so today we see some problems based on quantum numbers okay. see the first one so what is the total number of orbitals so what is the total number of orbitals associated with the, the principal quantum number 4 so make here the principal quantum number n equals 3 is given so what are the number of orbitals what is the total possible number of orbitals so orbitals in which quantum number we will get the orbitals the magnetic quantum number we will get the orbitals magnetic quantum number depends on the azimuthal quantum number so azimuthal quantum number depends on the principal quantum number so that is the given clue if n equal 3 what are the azimuthal quantum numbers if n equal 3 so what are the possibilities what are the possibilities for L? Means it tells about the shell. Tells about the shells. And what about L values? L tells about the subshells. Okay. So here the L values start from 0 and ends with the L minus 1. So if N is equal to 3, what are the L values? 0. Next. Uh, and also 1 and also 2. So, L values are possibilities 0, 1, 2, 3. So, this indicates magnetic quantum number indicates about orbitals. They are also known as sub sub shells. So, 0 means uh, for L is equal to 0, what are the L values? 1 value. This is 1 orbital. Same, if L is equal to 1, M values are minus 1, 0, plus 1. Okay, there is a 3 orbitals. Okay, one. There is a total 3 orbitals again. <laughs> Next, if L is equal to 2, so what are the M values? Minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2. So there is how many orbitals? Each value indicates one orbital. One, two, three, four, five orbitals. Uh, total how many orbitals? One, three, four, five. The total number of orbitals are nine orbitals. Okay, generally there is a direct formula is there to calculate the number of orbitals in a shell. number of orbitals in a nth shell is equal to n square for example in this problem the number of orbitals present in third shell is equal to 3 square that is equal to 9 ok now we see the next problem Okay, using see the second one using S P D and F symbols or F notations notations means here symbols okay notations describe the orbitals. Describe the Orbitals with the following quantum numbers. Okay, the question is not completed. There is a four questions are there in second. The first n equal to two is given. L equal to 1 is given. So we need to describe that orbital which is having n equal to L equal to 1. Uh, there is a second B problem n equal 4, L equal 0. There is a problem C, n equal 5, L equal 3. The problem D, 
n equal 3 and n equal 2. So these are the informations about the orbitals. Different four orbitals. We need to what are that uh, orbitals and uh, find out. Chale. So we know that uh, L equals 0 that is S, L is equal that is P, L equal to that is D, L equal 3 that is F. This, this information is necessary for it. L equal 3 means uh, second shell, L equal 1 means uh, 2P, means uh, 2P orbital, or nothing but uh, 2P sub shell. Ikra. A 2P lo 2P X ka achu, Y ka achu, 2P Z ka achu, whatever it is. Okay. So next. 4, 0, 4, S, 5, 3, 3 means F, 5, 3, 2, 3 means, okay, exactly 3, 3rd and 4th problem C the number of subshells num how many subshells are present in n shell n means what is the number of shell 4th shell meant 4th shell there is a subshells are generally represented by L so L values we know that start from 0 and ends with n minus 1 so therefore L values 0 1 2 3 total 4 values the 4 values indicates 4 subshells ok Therefore, number of subshells is equals always equal to n that is equal to 4. So, what are that 4 subshells? That 4 subshells are S, P, D, E, F. Okay, see the next one. How many orbitals are present in D subshell? General orbitals are indicated by magnetic quantum number. 
and there is a we have direct formula that number of orbitals in a subshell is equal to 2l plus 1 where in l indicates the azimuthal quantum number so it is given in the question that is uh, subshell is d for d subshell l equal to 2 we know that so substitute here we will get the 5 5 orbitals means for d subshell we know the 5 boxes means just remember one orbital means nothing but one box okay okay you see the next problem so here what is the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in a subshell with l is equal 3 so what is the uh, l equal 3 means what is the subshell f subshell so how many electrons are present so f subshell means how many boxes are there how many boxes there is seven boxes seven boxes means uh, means there is there is seven orbitals are present seven orbitals means each orbital contains maximum two electrons means there is totally four 14 electrons but in terms of formula we write as number of electrons In the subshell is equal to 2 into 2L plus 1. Here 2 into here L value given 3. 2 into 3 plus 1. So 6 plus 1, 7 to the 14 electrons. Okay, this is the formula we need to remember. The number of electrons in any subshell 2 into 2L plus 1. Next. In the shell with n is equal to 3, uh, generally we know n equal 3 means uh, how many subshells will present? 3 subshells. Number of uh, subshells equal to number of shell. Number of subshells is equal to number of the shell. Here 3, number of the shell is 3. So 3 subshells are present. 0, 1, 2. S, P, D. So in D, S means only there is one box, two electrons, six electrons. D contain five boxes, five orbitals, that is ten electrons. Total how many electrons? 10, 16, 17, 18 electrons. Same, in general calculation. But there is a formula is there. Number of electrons in a shell is equal to n square means here third shell is that is 3 square okay 3 square means uh, total so here we are discussing about uh, number of electrons so number of electrons means uh, total 18 electron here the number of electrons in a subshell is equal to the n square indicates the number of uh, orbitals okay 2 n square indicates the number of electrons okay okay there is the presence of 18 electrons are present next in the orbital with uh, m is equal to 3 so orbital means uh, this carries one box so which is having three value so whatever it is whatever the m value 1 m value indicates 1 orbital so we know that 1 orbital contains 2 electrons therefore here the number of orbitals in m equal 3 is 2 electrons ok write down See, what is the orbital angular momentum of a d electron? So we know that what is the formula for angular momentum? This is orbital angular momentum. So for normal angular moment it is somewhat different, but here it is a orbital angular momentum. So orbital angular momentum is the formula is a root of a into l plus one. The out of root is h by two pi. So for d electron, we know that uh, for d 
equals 0 1 that is 2 means uh, 2 into 2 plus 1 into h by 2 pi here generally these answers are spread in terms of uh, h and pi so no need to separate substitute the h value and pi value ok so how much it is equal to root root 6 into h by 2 pi so next what is the total spin in an atom with atomic number 7 7 means we know that nitrogen so we must know the spin means it uh, it is for electrons only spin is present so what is the total number of electrons uh, what is their arrangement 1 is 2 2s2, 2p3. So 1s2 means uh, there is 2 electrons. 2s2. In that orbital there is 2 electrons. 2p means uh, so how many orbitals in 2p subshell? In p subshell there is 3 orbitals are there. At first 3 electron fails uh, with the normal spin, with parallel spin. So now see. So there is a 1 plus half, 1 minus half, cancel, next, this is 1 plus half, first second electron, 1 is minus half, so that is also, here also 2 cancel, next here, 3 are there, ok, 3 are we can take plus half or 3 are we can take minus half, ok, it is not compulsory that the first electron is always having plus half, it may be plus half or it may be minus half. If you take plus half, that is a three plus half are present, or we can take a three minus half are present. Okay, that is plus half, plus half, plus half, or minus half, minus half, minus half. Okay, try down. You see here, so what is the magnetic moment in an atom with z is equal 7? Here total the different that is a magnetic moment. So already it is a direct problem. So what there is a formula to calculate the magnetic moment. So magnetic moment is generally indicated with mu. That is mu, mu. The formula is root of n into n plus 2. So that is in terms of a Bohr magnetons. That is known as BEM. So these are the units for magnetic moment. So what do you mean by BM means? For magnetic moment, the units are, if you use this formula, so they must be BM, they are known as Bohr magnetons. So here what is N? N equals number of single, nothing but number of unpaid electrons. Number of unpaid electrons. Say it is equation 1. Now substitute in equation 1, the magnetic moment of mu is equal to z is equal 7. z is equal 7 means uh, that is nitrogen 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. So now we need to calculate the n value, number of unpaired electrons. Here pair up electrons, here pair up electrons. Here only 3 electrons, 3 unpaid electrons, mean here n is equal to 3. And now substitute in equation 1, that is uh, mu is equal to root of 3 into 3 plus 2. Okay, and how much 5? That is equal to 
so root 15 so if you get root 16 so directly we can say it's 4 1 but it's approximately 15 means uh, somewhat less to the 4 so generally we can write if the number of electrons are 3 directly we can write uh, so approximately 3.7 Bohr magnetons so so which is the formula but uh, by knowing the number of unpaired electrons by substituting all these values exactly we will get uh, if you got a number of unpaired electron 1 we will get 1.7 2, 2 3, 3 4, 4 5, 5 okay this is about magnetic moment next see so what is the maximum number of electrons in the possible subshells for n plus l is equal 4 and one different uh, different uh, orbitals are not shared to which to which n plus l becomes 4 okay so n plus l is equal 4 for example if you take n plus n equal to 2 so 4 relevant we need to take l equal to 2 if n equal to 2 n equal to 2 not possible okay, very important if l equal n equal to say 3 n equal to 3 means uh, here to get 4 value we will take 1 if n equal to 3, L value 0, 1, 2. So 1 is present. Means, uh, so it indicates uh, what uh, 3 plus 1. So L value 3, L value 1 means it indicates uh, 3p. Okay. Again, we know in 3p, how many electrons are present in 3p? Total 6 electrons. In 3p subshell, there is 4 electrons. Sorry, total 6 electrons. n plus n equal to possible to do that. 4 plus l value 0. Means there is 4s. S means only 1 box. Next. Uh, so 5. We can't exceed the 4. Because final value should be 4. Because 1 t is equal to possible. 1 t is equal to maximum possible l equal 0. 1 plus 0, 1 out. And a n plus l value 4 of the subshells only 3. Only 3. 3 plus 1 equal 4, that is indicates 3p. 4 plus 0 equal 4, that is 4s. Total electrons is 8 electrons. Okay, write down. <coughs> See the next. Uh, so, what is the maximum number of elements? Okay, not the electrons, elements. If the element does not exist above n equal 4. Okay, if this it is a hypothesis problem. If n equal 4 is last one. If n is equal to the 4, 4 is the last one. Then what will be the maximum number of elements? So see if n is equal 4 means it indicate that uh, the how many shells are present? 4 shells are present. That is uh, shell number equal 1, shell number 2, shell number 3, shell number 4. Okay, in shell number 1, which orbitals are present? Yes. S indicates one box means two electrons. Two. If shell number is equal to two, so there is a presence of S orbital, so S subshell, P subshell. So it indicates how many electrons totally? P6, H2, that is eight electrons. In three, there is a presence of S, P, D. Okay. So there is a how many? S2, 6, 8, 10. That is 18 electrons. Okay. So next. And the fourth. There is a presence of S, P, D, E, F. So here how many are there? 40, 18. Here we know the 14. Okay, that is uh, 32 electrons. So, while we are calculating the number of electrons means uh, every element is contains different different number of electrons. For example, 
with the help of two electrons there is a possibility of uh, two elements one electron system of it two electron system of it okay next ticket are three four five six seven eight electron systems total ten electron system next ticket are already ten ticket eighteen again ticket are thirty two total how many elements possible and the total number of electrons n equal four and then what is the number of uh, maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in the all the shells okay a uh, four shells alone the maximum number of electrons in that one again 50 okay 60 elements okay and a general ga one electron indicates one element the second electron fill up ayinappo that is second element and the third electron fill up ay that is third element fourth electron fill up ay that is fourth element the total possibilities are there for 60 electrons ante total 60 electrons unnapude ethi possible any elements possible avutay six elements are only possible because same electrons unnatte they belong to same element same electron same number of electrons undi different element is not possible the total maximum number of elements is 60 next see the this is the important one so give the four quantum numbers for the last electron in sodium atom so what is the sodium configuration sodium how much 11 atomic number so 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 means we need to calculate the four quantum numbers for 3s1 so number of principal quantum number n equal 3 as it is electron is present in s cell that is equal 0 if l is equal 0 we know that m is equal to also 0 no doubt in it and there is only one electron is present so s is equal we can write plus of or we can write minus of both are possibilities plus or minus okay if any one of them is present Okay, it may be asked that uh, so what is the four quantum numbers of two B electrons or any of these electrons? I know. Okay, see the last one. So what is the total number of orbitals and the total number of electrons which are having n is equal zero? in which 30 protons are present in its atom so here main important the number of protons number of protons is exactly equal to atomic number of that element number of protons given means uh, its atomic number so that is given as 30 so for 30 means there is number of electrons also That is uh, therefore the number of electrons are thirty. So how we can distribute the number of the thirty electrons by the electron configuration? We know that thirty is for zinc. Okay. So here it is not necessary zinc or it is any any other. So what is the configuration for it? Is one s two, two s two, two p six, three s two. 3p6 4s2 3p10 so this is the configuration the okay, total how many total how many subshells are present so how many subshells are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 seven subshells are there okay So how many orbitals are there? So S is having one box. This is one box. It's important. So what we need to calculate? We need to calculate uh, only those orbitals which are having m is equal zero. Which are having m is equal zero. So m is equal to uh, zero means. Uh, so there is what are the different possibilities for l value? If l is equal zero. M is equal zero. If L is equal to one, M is equal minus one zero plus one. If L equal to two, M is equal minus two minus one zero one two. 
ओके सो ये लो पॉसिबिलिटी फॉर एल इक्वल थ्री ओके एक लेर का बट्टी सो एम इक्वल जीरो दिन लो एल इक्वल जीरो एम इक्वल जीरो एम इक्वल के टू पी लो व्हाट आर द एम वैल्यूज माइनस वन जीरो प्लस वन हियर मींस हियर एम इक्वल जीरो हियर एम इक्वल जीरो हियर फॉर वन ऑर्बिटल एम इक्वल जीरो बिकॉज़ अदर टू मे बी प्लस और माइनस वन यस ओनली वेस मींस देयर इज एक्जेक्टली एम इक्वल जीरो थ्री पी अगेन थ्री पी मींस थ्री बॉक्सेस थ्री बॉक्सेस लेवल माइनस वन जीरो प्लस वन और इट मे बी प्लस वन जीरो और माइनस वन सो देयर इज वन बॉक्स इज एम इक्वल जीरो एस एस इज एक्जेक्टली एम इक्वल जीरो नो डॉट इन डी एल इक्वल टू डी मींस वन टू थ्री फोर वाई वैल्यूज सो वन हैज जीरो वन टू थ्री दिस दिस आर See, file only one contain m is equal to zero. Others contain minus two, minus one, plus one, plus two. So we can have minus two, minus one, zero, one, comma two. Order different or not? Two, maybe exactly same or not? Two. Okay, but only one box, one box is compels having m is equal to zero. Means whatever the subshells are there, m is equal to zero in the box, and it will one one only. So seven subshells like that, but only it will one one only. There is a seven orbitals are there. Okay. Seven orbitals are with m is equal to zero. Means the total number of orbitals with m is equal to zero is seven. So what is the number of electrons? Of okay, box lo one electron the total one one box or two electrons means sir, uh, the seven only. So therefore, number of electrons. Number of electrons with the m is equal to zero is a seven into two because each box contains two electrons. Means the number of electrons is equal fourteen electrons. The number of the orbitals are equal to seven. Okay, take it. Here I want to say that. Uh, So there is also some problems in the book which we follows that is singage. Okay. So but all problems related to the models which we have discussed in this class. So just do the all the problems which are present in the singage. Exactly, it is continues to the quantum numbers topic. today we discussed with the maximum models and which is very easy so just uh, give a look on this problems in your singage book okay